Okay, I've got all this food to unpack. It's gonna be gone in three, two, one. Boom. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten yet. It's two o'clock. Haven't eaten yet. But don't worry, we're gonna get a fat breakfast, gonna fuel us up. So let's go. Okay, you got the food here. Some oats, a couple of eggs, vegetables, take your ashes, milk here, other than that. Just got to eat more and just train as good as I can. Hello, welcome back to warm ups. So, squats, you're going to need a lot of hip mobility, such as ankle mobility as well, so you can get full depth because we don't want to be doing parallel like I did in my last video. Yes, I know, it sucks. But I'm going to go down here, I'm going to show you some nice warm ups that you can do. The first thing is going to be hip 1990s. So, if you want to get on the floor, start on this position, legs out just wider than your hip position then you want to get your foot like this kind of want to make this it's not right angle with your left foot and the right angle with your right foot then what you want to do is turn over to your right foot and then come down you can really feel buttocks stretch cheeky you're doing that we're really going to try and stretch out the hips the hips are going to be used a lot to obviously get to depth. You want to make sure that they're warmed up and mobile. Switch to the other side. I feel straight away that my left side's a bit more tight than my right. That's why we do this. Bosh, back with no exercise. The Cossack squat. So what this squat involves you is just getting everything limber. Your low body but, body but you still need to make sure you, your body is upright and stable what you want to do is get into a wide position keep your feet flat on the floor and then you want to get your hands together upright brace Down. apparently i'm like joe wicks <laughs> just staying upright if you brush your core as well you can get a bit of core activation then what i like to do after is kind of just Hello, okay, so this Jim Apo over here didn't turn on the mic properly. So I'm going to be explaining what I'm, I'm doing. So this session I was with my friend Rob, you'll see him later in the video, and he was guiding me on how to properly brace in a squat. And from the warm up, you can see I have a bit of butt wink, but I'm just getting used to the actual proper bracing movement. So I have 90 kilograms here and I try to do that for about three sets of eight. I've changed to high bar now so I'm going to a bit of a narrow squat but I'm doing more of a natural one now. Sadly, you can see my back round as I get closer to depth, and that's one thing I really need to work on. But lately, from the squats that I've done recently, I've fixed this, and all now I have to do is just get used to that movement and bracing properly. But other than that, 90 kilograms was easy, and let's go. Yeah, buddy. people oh so like extensions 62.5 kilograms progressively overloading I'm shattered but we move Thank you. 
I know every gal and boy in the gym. Despite knowing every gal and boy in the gym, I still don't know how to charge my bloody mic. So, throughout this whole workout, my mic was turned off. I have 62.5 kilograms on the bar for competition paused. The weight was fairly decent. I tried to get eight, but I only got seven, so I should have put the weight down. Compared to a touch and go, pause is harder because you don't have the ability to bounce off your chest. You can see a bit of hip jerk and my face is really red. I'm lucky to have a lot of friends just watching me and motivating me whilst doing this but trust me my form is getting better these videos do help out. We've got some close grip bench here. I did these for 10 but the end reps as you'll see coming up my elbows do flare quite a bit. I may not count those, but other than that, at least I'm knowing that my elbows are flaring from these. Absolute pink struggle, lad. Send it fitness! Interval. So this is Owen, just gonna show me what I'm doing wrong. And I turn on the mic again. I don't even know if this is a good way to just start with, but when you come down, you're letting your elbows flare. Yeah. Like that? Exactly, and the mic turns off. But yes. So as you're showing right here, I really needed to tuck my elbows in to get the maximum progression in the close grip bench. But I know now, and I'm going to stop being a stupid bastard, lower the weight, and just practice the form. Oh no, there's no audio for Owen's explanation of the tricep tricep. Guess he can't be in the video. I'm kidding. So yeah, he's showing off the tricep tricep. Very good form there. Sped it up. Uh, yeah, get mogged. This video is brought to you by no one. Enjoy. Welcome to another episode of The Kitchen. Hey, what? Welcome back to another episode where, again, my mic is out of battery. So here's me explaining what we're making. So the ingredients you'll need will be 200 grams of potatoes, a can of tomato chunks, one red onion, a case of chicken five fillets and some frozen vegetables, a bit of salt and a bit of oil. What you want to do is chop up the potatoes and put them in a pan with some of the thighs and then dress it with some oil to your liking. With this, season it with any chicken seasoning, any herb seasoning you like and then you're going to want to put it into a preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. You can also add the canned tomatoes and onions halfway through to make sure that they don't burn and smolder whilst everything is cooking. So, it's been in for 25 minutes. I've added some onions, some red peppers, and all you have to do now is add the tin tomato. Flip the fires around just to get the underside a bit more cooked. Other than that, put it in for another 20 minutes and then you should be golden. Okay, we've got it right here. Let's open that, oh my God. Chicken is cooked perfectly. Okay, so it's nice and soft. Get blow. It's just so simple. Honestly, the chicken five fillets, so moist, so nice. With the tomato sauce and the season, the oil, all the juices together. Mike was pretty all right, honestly. Got there. That very tasty meal, I recommend you try it out. I'll enjoy this in my own time. 110 top set, hopefully for eight. We'll see how it goes, but yeah. It's bad fucking moving, but. <laughs> oh. Please, please stop. Okay.
Let's see. Hello, lads, ladies, and lifting lovers. We are doing some nice pause squats. So I'll try to do 72.5 to 8 with a two second pause at the bottom. Got my friend Top G, Rob Turn, Imperium Fitness and Nutrition. So let's get into it. Hello, so welcome back. So today I'm doing bench and upper, and so I'm doing bench press now. And the one thing I am going to do is a top set of 65 kilograms, hopefully for eight. If I can do that, then perfect. And then I'll drop it down to 62.5, do that for eight more reps for the whole of this three sets. And let's get into it. Yeah, buddy. Red face already. Big up Harry on the, the cam. Okay. Dumbbell bench press. 24 kilograms. Three sets of nine. Get too old. Shit. Get too old. That's how we did, baby. There's some weird camera angles. But we do what we gotta do, peeps. Kill me flies. Does Arnold love his flies? So if you wanna fly, let's fly. Barber. Another session of cool camera angles. So I'm doing some skull crushers. Uh, 27.5, 10 kilograms each side of this easy bar. Good 10 clean reps. Matter if it's a year or two or ten or a hundred, I don't care! No matter how many times I might stumble, I won't give up! I will become the Wizard King! Yeah, buddy. Heavyweight! 